Hello everybody! My name is Scarlett. It is currently 4.30 in the morning. I have not slept. I'm still hyped up on coffee, so I'm sure you guys are wondering, what did you do for the last four hours? Well, nothing. I deleted 9,546 pictures on my phone. I ran around the apartment on all fours, and I sold a couple things, some bugs and junk on Animal Crossing, and switched my shirt so I look like a middle-aged man that just came home from work and had too many beers, who's sitting on a love seat and complaining about his job. So, I'm going to get out of Nook's little tent here. I'm gonna leave the wife beater on because why the heck not? It is 4.30 in the morning still, so 4.30. I did check, I don't know why. I'm um, hoping that there's some better bugs out here. So there is that beautiful owl, love it. We're starting to get some sun here, it looks like. We got a tiger butterfly it doing its thing and kind of dark for butterflies still, but oh, we got a, oh, there's another moth. Oh, I think that's the yellow butterfly I released earlier. We're we'll hanging on to them just in case we got to get rid of something because we get something else cool. Gonna wander, wander, wander. If you haven't noticed, I'm gonna point it out. I found some beautiful little flower hair things and I was like, hey, you know what? I wanna look purty. So I put them in and I got one for my glider suit too. So cute, so fresh. Ooh, running around, doing a thing. Oh man, is that a hermit crab? Nope, it's just a shell. I want to catch a hermit crab and now I'm just catching shells. I'm surprised there's no beetles. Usually there's like crazy beetles out. I think that might be a summer thing though and it is currently barely winter here. Um, not on the game but where I live and I know it kind of sinks into where you live so maybe the beetles just aren't out yet. There's a little fishy in the water. Let's go get that fishy. What else did I do for those like four hours I've been gone? So, Fishy, where are you going, Fishy? Make up your mind, Fishy. I hung out with my sugar gliders a little bit after talking about them for a while. I decided they needed some attention and love. And they are nocturnal, so they're all awake right now, going crazy, doing their glider thing. Go, Fishy, go, Fishy, go. Yeah, Fishy! I got a... Bitterling. He's mad at me, but only a little. He's just a little bitter. Just a little bitter. So I was thinking while I was hanging out with my sugar gliders, this story, it's one of my favorites. So I was working at a veterinary clinic as a vet tech and I was bottle feeding a sugar glider at the time. He was in my bra and I had just, oh, mm, fishy. I had just gotten this job and I didn't want to be like, hey, I am bottle feeding this baby sugar glider. He's in my shirt at all times because I felt like that would be a deal breaker for a job. I understand that I was at a vet clinic, but I mean, for safety reasons, you shouldn't have a small fuzzy rodent type critter when you're working with like, you know, cats. So I didn't say anything, but I would have to check on him once in a while because he was just a little baby. So I would peek down in my shirt and I'd be like, hey, what are you doing in there? Hey, little guy. And I'd talk to him a little bit, pet his little face, you little babies. And I would try to be discreet about it. I would, you know, wait until there weren't a lot of people around or I thought nobody was looking. Apparently they were all looking because the new girl is sitting here talking to her boobs. And I didn't think much about it because I'm in mommy mode and I'm like, look at this little baby. Um, until a guy I worked with named Piper comes up to me one day because he heard a noise in my shirt and he's like, listen, I gotta ask, like, what is going on? So he's like, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything. You're a good worker. You know, you're just a little weird. You're sitting here talking to your boobs. So then I'm like, well, bam! And I pull up this baby sugar glider in front of everybody. And they were all cool about it. They ended up helping me bottle feed. Oh, fish, I'm not ready to catch a fish. They ended up helping me bottle feed. Uh, when I was in appointments, they would switch and like help take care of them. But I just thought that was always kind of funny. Oh, I'm looking for a hermit crab. I'm gonna get a net just in case. Hermit crab? Oh, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yes, yeah, I got a crab, yes. Okay, so 
I know in this game you're supposed to give them to blathers or whatever and let them like be in the zoo. I almost said the apartment. In the hermit crab apartment. But this sucker is going right into my tent and I'm going to name him Little Barnacle after my hairy little hermit crab and it's going to be a wonderful time. He's going to be my pet and I'm super excited, like way more excited than I should ever be about a video game hermit crab. But let's put little B in his house right next to my stretcher that they want me to sleep on, which is slightly horrifying. Hermit crab. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hermit crab. Place item. He's gorgeous. I'm gonna put you right next to my bed. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the little claws. He's too delicious. I love watching my hermit crab eat. When I put new food in, sometimes I'll give him like some shrimp or I'll give him like a little piece of bananas and he'll take his, he's got two claws. He's got his big fight and purple claw. He's got a little tiny baby thin claw, and the big one's for fighting and attracting mates because of this right here, super sexy. But then he's got this little baby claw, and he uses that to help pick up food and cut food and bring it to his mouth. So I'll give him a piece of banana, and he comes over, and he takes his feelers, and he touches it all over the place, and he tries to smell it, and he's like, yup, 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 this banana. I like this, good. So then once he figures out it's a banana, he takes his little cut and scissor baby claws and he takes it and he snip, 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 and he picks it up like little chopsticks and he, they're adorable. I highly recommend watching a hermit crab eat. If you have a hermit crab or a friend has a hermit crab or you're doing nothing on YouTube and you just look up hermit crabs eating because I'm sure somebody has a video out there somewhere. <gasps> My phone is ringing. Critterpedia, it's like, hey, Oh, you got a bitterling? What else we got? Where's my hermit crab? Where my crabby at? Maybe he's under insect? Oh, he is under insect. Hermit crab. Oh. Active hours. In March. Seasonally. Oh, he's all year. Find him all year. Crabs every year. Every day. All the time. So I had. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I had a friend who was a vegetarian, and the only animal she would eat, horde reward. I guess my hermit crab is furniture. The only animal she would eat is like shrimp. And I was like, yo, why are you eating shrimp? Because, you know, in my book, shrimp is a living thing. It has little nerve endings, it can feel things. and. It lives with its little shrimpy friends and has its own little shrimpy life and a shrimpy agenda. And uh, to me, it's it's an animal. It's breathing well, in the water, bringing little gills. Um, and she would tell me, you know, they are they're just sea bugs. I'm just eating an insect, which again to me is a life. But I digress. Um, so I just think it's funny that he came up under the insects instead of the fish, because. It just made me think of her talking about sea bugs. Ooh, it's a fishy, fishy. Wow, he's fast. Look at him go. Here, fishy. Oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna be. I'm gonna fish at his butt. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Can't see past my melon head. Don't know how I'm holding the pole with the nub. Oh, he's thinking about it. Ooh, he's, ooh, ooh, we got a big one. There he's little. He's go. We got a little one. A carp. Still got those sharp skills with that carp. I'm digging it. Oh no, thank you for your service. Your faith, faithful flimsy fishing rod has died. And my phone is ringing. What? Angling, caught a fish, caught 10 fish. All the fish, so many fish. Wonderful. <laughs> well, now we're at a fishing rod. I'm gonna go make a new fishing rod. I hope I have enough sticks. Oop. How do I check? Where's my thing? Nope, that, nope, buttons. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm gonna show it off anyway. Ta-da! He's beautiful. All right, put him away. Uh, um, I forget the button. I keep hitting the same button. Oh, God. It's been a long morning. Fishing pole, five. I need five tree branches and I got zip. So let's get some tree branches. Nope. 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 
Nope. Where are they all hiding? Nope. Oh, I got one. I got a winner. Mm, well, I'm sure you guys could watch me shake trees all night because it's super fun. But I am going to cut this video because, again, nobody wants to watch me pick up sticks for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna cut it and maybe I'll make another one depending on how much more energy I have left in the tank here. Alrighty, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!